Friends, in this video, we will understand the complete ecosystem of data center theme. First of all, we need to know what is data center. Data center mainly consists of different types of storage devices, routers and switches. And this data center mainly offers information storage services to IT sector and communication sector. And the starting of this year 2024, India has 150 data centers, which is very low when we compare to other countries. And right now, every brokerage firm is strongly bullish on data center theme across the world. And right now, global data center capacity is around $300 billion. Brokerage firm estimates that by 2030, data center capacity will reach $600 billion, which is very huge. And in last year, December 2023, India has a total data center capacity of 1 gigawatt. And brokerage firm estimates that by December 2026, India's data center capacity will reach 2 gigawatts. And for this huge growth, with the help of the Indian government, lot of companies doing huge capex on building data centers. Right now, we will understand why data center theme is booming right now. If you guys remember correctly, in 2020 pandemic, streaming service companies like Sarigama Tips Industries becomes multi-baggers and gave 10x returns for the investors. Because in pandemic, everyone sitting in the home, watching TV and listening to the music and coming to the data center. Right now in India, everybody is a content creator and they are creating huge content and this needs to be stored somewhere. Also in India, mobile phone users are also increasing at rapid pace. And because of this, monthly average data consumption also increasing. And with upcoming 5G mobile network, huge data centers also required. And these are the main reasons why data centers are booming right now. And right now we will discuss with this data center boom, which companies will benefit in future. First of all, in data center capex, 50% of the total capex is occupied by power related capex. And this power capex mainly consists of transformers, backup power storage devices and cooling systems. And for this data center power capex, brokerage firm estimates that companies like Blue Star, Voltas, Cummins type companies will benefit in future. But I myself is a small and mid cap investor. I want to invest in companies like Transformer Activates and Silchar Technologies based on companies management growth guidance. And the remaining 50% of data center capex is occupied by servers and maintenance of the servers and location of the real estate, construction of the data center. And for the data center server business segment, brokerage firm estimates that companies like Techno Electric, Aryan Pro Solutions, ETU Networks and Netweb Technologies type companies will benefit hugely. And for the data center construction segment, companies like Anantaraj Limited and LNT Construction will benefit hugely. That's what brokerage firms are saying. And in the data center switch gear segment, companies like Genus Power Infrastructure will benefit hugely. And lastly, some brokerage firm gave the revenue estimations on these data center companies. Right now, we will discuss about that. First company is Techno Electric and Engineering Limited. This company is in the business of power transmission and fuel gas desulfurization. In this segment, company controls sulfur dioxide emissions from the coal power plants. And next is smart meter manufacturing and wind power generation. And this company recently stepped into data center business segment. In this segment, company want to set up 40 megawatts of data center capacity with a total capex of 1200 crore rupees. And lastly, brokerage firm estimates that for this FY24 financial year, Company will report a revenue of 2590 crore rupees with a pat of 330 crore rupees. And in next year, FY26, company will report a revenue of 3500 crore rupees with a pat of 380 crore rupees. Next is ETU Networks Limited. In this channel, I did a clear explanation video on this company. Go and watch it. You guys are gonna love that video. Next is Netweb Technologies Limited. This company offers high performance storage solutions and high performance computing solutions and cloud-based storage solutions. Recently, this company also stepped into data center business segment and brokerage firm estimates that in this FY24 financial year, company will report a revenue of 1050 crore rupees with a pat of 90 crore rupees. And in next year, FY26, brokerage firm estimates that company will report a revenue of 1450 crore rupees with a pat of 150 crore rupees. Next is Anantaraj Limited. This company's main business segment is real estate development. And this company also has a land bank of 312 acres. And recently, this company also stepped into data center business segment and company want to develop 307 megawatts of data center capacity in future. And lastly, brokerage firm estimates that in this FY24 financial year, company will report a revenue of 1860 crore rupees with a pat of 310 crore rupees. And in next year, FY26 financial year, company will report a revenue of 2700 crore rupees with a pat of 380 crore rupees. And next is Aryan Pro Solutions Limited. This company's main business segment is payment solutions. And recently, this company also stepped into data center business segment and company want to develop 100 megawatts of data center capacity in next few years time frame. And recently, company management get that company will grow its revenue at the rate of 40% this year for next few years time frame. 
and lastly brokerage firm estimates that in this fy24 financial year company will report a revenue of 1150 crore rupees with a pat of 180 crore rupees and lastly dark horse in this data center business segment is black box limited because not a single brokerage firm is bullish about this company in terms of data center business segment and this company offers information and communication solutions across the world and in last year fy24 financial year itself company win the order worth of 100 million dollars for data centers development and for this data center expansion company recently did a fundraise of 410 crore rupees and the company management gave the strong guidance on the data center capacity expansion in next few years and the investors need to read this company also regarding data center capex theme and lastly brokerage firms also gave the financial targets for this big companies also in their reports and i find irrelevant to discuss these companies in this video because these are bigger companies and data center team will not improve their earnings hugely and lastly i myself invested in this company but i missed the bus on et networks because i am 100% fully invested at any time and the investors who are invested in this et networks wait for the long term to see the magic lastly if you like this video subscribe to the channel